Welcome back friends. In this video we will be talking about the digestion of lipid molecules or fat. So fat digestion. Now when we eat fat in our dietary uh, source of food we get a lot of fat and fat digestion is really really complicated and it is the most time consuming digestion above all. Because for the fat to digest because fat is not water soluble that is a major problem regarding the fat digestion because in all the process for the digestion to occur properly it requires enormous amount of water supply so if you have a normal time of water supply and water helps in the hydrolyzation process but in case of fat fat are non water soluble they are water phobic molecules so they are going away from water so for that reason uh, fat is not a kind of thing that can be hydrolyzed by water so that is the problem regarding fat but still there are other techniques inside our body to to break down fat into smaller fragments but again uh, for the digestion of fat what do we mean so let us talk about that now, when you talk about fat it is made up with majorly two constituents one is fatty acids and then the backbone which is called glycerol now usually the fat we are talking about made up with glycerol and fatty acids are called triphosphoglycerate. Triphosphoglycerate molecule or TPG molecules. Okay. So in our dietary fat we are having many many amount of this triphosphoglycerate molecules and those triphosphoglycerate molecules are having typically 3 carbon chain and fatty acid attached with it throughout the place so these things are the fatty acid portions and these are the carbon of glycerol okay so for the breakdown of fatty fat what we need to do we need to break these bonds we need to break the bonds between this fatty acid and the glycerol so we get fatty acid itself and fatty acid can be easily taken up by the epithelial cells some other type of cells and if there are a lot of large amount of fat are there we need to add some other accessory protein to carry those fatty acid molecules from the intestinal region to the epithelial cell through the blood transport and those proteins along with the fatty mo acid molecules are called lipoprotein because these are lipids and those are proteins accessory proteins to bind with lipids and carry lipids through the bloodstream are called lipoproteins okay We'll be talking about them separately in other videos, but this is how the fat, fat breakdowns take place. So normally fat is break, broken down into fatty acid and then glycerol. That's the basic thing. Then glycerol will be processed differently to finally get uh, sugar or glucose. And from this fatty acid, they can utilize it inside the cell. Now let's begin with the different stages of fat degradation or fat digestion. Now, fat digestion never takes place in the mouth because in mouth there is no fat degrading enzymes. So, there will be no degradation in the mouth region. Okay. Or digestion in the mouth. Now, in stomach, in stomach also, there are uh, normally no secretion of such lipase enzymes to break down fat. So, again, stomach is not at all important to break down fat so you can see not mouth not even stomach can break down fat the only way or only region where fat digestion can take place is intestine so if intestine fails such a way then nobody can prevent the digestion of fat okay nobody can actually help in the digestion of fat so in this case of intestine it secretes some enzymes to break down fat and the enzymes required here comes from pancreatic secretions and it is called the pancreative lipase now this pancreatic lipase is called lipase because it is a lipid breaking enzyme so this pancreatic lipase is the enzyme that can break down fat into smaller fragments but this pancreatic lipase cannot work on fat directly because fatty acid molecules are very very large long chain molecules having complicated structures in it so to break down fat the first important step is to separate out fat molecules from the water so to produce what we call the droplets the micro droplets of fat then this pancreatic lipase can enter through the micro droplet inside the fat and it can break down the fat okay so that is very very important the first stage is to produce the small droplets of fat and the droplets of fat 
is called the immersion or fat immersion. The fat immersion production is important prior to the fat digestion by lipase. And to achieve that, we, we need another round or several round of chemical mediators and those chemical mediators are called bile salts. They are called bile salts. Bile salts are produced from liver and they are brought about by the liver hepatic duct to the duodenum. And then bile salts are normally, and the arrow shouldn't be here, the bile salts usually break down, let's say, uh, fat. So fat into fat immersions or droplets. And when it produces fat droplets, the pancreatic lipase acts on fat droplets and break down the fat into fatty acid and glycerol and other things as easily. Okay, but prior to this fat digestion, we need to have the bile salts to be properly activated to break down fat into fat droplets. So there are region of fat, they will bring about fat. So actually, if I draw it, it will be easier for you to understand. So let's say here, Long chain fats are there, let's say here, fats are looking like here, for example, like that. Lot of fat molecules are here like this, same orientation like that. So what they're doing, they're just masking some region of the fat. So let's say molecules are masking this section. So it produces small droplets like that. Inside the droplets, they are having this kind of triglyceride molecules, having this long chains and so on, so that uh, lipase can take entry through through it or very easily and then it can break down this fat internally and then these droplets can be fused and they can be transferred and they can be absorbed by the epithelial cells okay and we'll be talking about the absorption completely separately okay so that's how the whole process actually works now that's very very important for that reason we need to be very healthy liver to digest fat efficiently and we need to have very healthy intestine to digest fat very efficiently because our mouth or our stomach none of them provides any anything uh, important to digest fat okay so that's in a sense fat digestion and i hope that's helpful thank you